First day I entered in the city, you know, that was the time I knew that I have come, I'm facing trouble from that day, from my first day I came here in the city. That's the time I knew that I truly have faced a life which I did not expect in my life. So since I entered here, may I say, for several times I've been put in jail, but I thank God after some day, after finishing my, my yeah, yeah in, in jail, yeah, I mean, yeah. staying in jail, yeah. I have to come out, and I come out here, I have to continue, you know, I have, I have nothing else to do except to come here in the streets and continue with the life. So, here in, in the city, I say life has been so hard for me, because I always, I always used to think about my future, I would think every day, every day, every day. I always ask my God what will happen in my future, what God has kept for me for my future. You know, after facing many troubles here, being hated by people here, by this kind of life. So I always thank, ask God for a better future. And I always I, I desire and I am always dreaming for a better future. Yeah. So what do you think about this association, this group? Yeah. What can you tell about it? The association, I'm um, with hope, with the association, because when I, we, we talked together, or when we came together and joined with the, our, our friends here, and the group of Udogu, they came, well, they came in the offices, they came here and they talked to us, that they told that we, we, can, be, we, can, we can make it or we can be able to make a group or in the association where they can assist us. So I'm happy with the group that we have, since we have been with them, or we have been working together with them, sharing together with them. May I say, I'm with the hope with it. So how did you come up with the idea of collecting their food and then selling it? Uh, one day I visited, well, I visited one of my, my friends here on the other side. They also used to sell this, this remains of food. And they taught me how this food has been collected and they are sold. So it, 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 it got in my mind. It is that the, it's the only work now I can be able to do at this time. Or at this time or these situations, you know. I have to do this work. So I came to do this work. It's now 
maybe you miss it about for three years now since I've been working for yeah it is three years now and yes it is a good job I had never I had never done that before yeah. Yeah, because I always, I never lack in it you know even though I'm having one bucket of the remains I thank God for it because on that day I won't starve so even for because for today and if for today I've got this, this more or this one bucket even tomorrow, I need, even tomorrow, if I come here, I still get more than this. So it's a good job for me. Yeah. So how much do you usually get per day? How much money? It depends on how much this food are. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe for today, I go. I just managed to have 350 shillings. Mm -hmm. And there are sometimes maybe tomorrow it might be 200. Okay. And the other day 400, 500, 600. That way, yeah. yeah. Okay. It depends. And is that enough for food? Bang for your food. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so come on, Taki. Yes, yes. Come on, Miss Emma. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. What in your group? What kind of rules do you have? Who can you associate what kind of rules that I know that oh, you're not mm -hmm. allowed girls? Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. What, what other kind <laughs> there are rules? You know, yeah, it's true. We are here in our group and in, the, in this association. We used to have, after we met together, we had to make rules, mm. you know, that we have to respect one another, to love one another. Yeah. Either you be a big, a big guy or a small kid, yeah. you have to respect mm. one another. Mm. And to love them, and to love them. Even, they are, even though they are very small, you have to love them. How old are the youngest one? The youngest one we had it was, I think it was 12 years. 12? 12 years, yeah. And the oldest one? one? He's that same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's that same. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and your parents, where did they live? No, no, it's about 17 years ago since our mother left us. She died. And since I was born, or since we are born, everyone in my family, my brothers and sisters, we never knew anyone of, of our fathers. Oh, okay. Our mother was not yet married. Oh, okay. So after when she died, you are, you are left to our aunts, and we have been living, living with them. Okay. Until that time myself, I became a grown-up person, so I had not to stay at home in rural areas. Yeah. I had to make my mind and come here in town or in the city to look for the future. Mm. Yeah. So you came to, the, to Nairobi? Yeah, 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 I came from Nairobi. But... Yeah. But what kind of things make you happy? Yeah, you know, when I meet my with plants here in town, you know, I always try to make to make them to be my friends, you know. Living fled with these people in the city or wherever I go. So that makes me happy. Even but sometimes I used to meet with the people, they, you know, and they look at me like this, they hate me, you know, they don't think anything good for me. So I feel bad for that. But I'm happy when I I, go, I, I finish my job, mm -hmm. I go and change my clothes and put the clean ones. So I face I face that future. I mean that that life is seem to be good yeah. more than the, uh, the, yeah. the I am at this time. So when I am clean, I, when I am looking good, I'm always happy. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, what was the name of the place where you live? Yeah. Korokocho. Korokocho. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
So you live here? Thank you. Uh, this is my house, my home, here in the city. After working uh, in the city, so this is my house. I used to come and to fresh myself here. And if I am dead, this is my, my house to last. And I may say I've been here for four years now, since I started came in the city. And this is my fourth year. I may say I'm happy living here, living peacefully. No one could not quarrel with no one, and I'm happy for this. Um, but um, I would be a vision of having a better house more than this, living in a better house, than this. even if it can be mine. And I thank, thank God for it. Yeah. So I'm expecting a better future, and a yeah. better house, a better family, also having a wife, children in this house. So I prayed to God because I needed my life to change. And I needed to have a house because on that day I came to find to search for a house. I was about to be killed somewhere in, where I was sleeping. You know, thugs just came from nowhere. You know, it's it. You know, I know you know Hellas Lassie Avenue up there. Up when, on your way to Kenyatta Hospital, there's a forest near there. On your left side, when you are going up to Kenyatta, on your left. So I had built a a small house. I used cartons to make it, so I was sleeping down inside there. But one day they came here, they started removing my cartons and throwing them away. I got hacked on myself and to collect stones and started throwing to them. And there I came and knocked one of them. Aww. And he was in his leg, so he was very angry with me. So he had to chase me. And from that day I never, I never wanted to be back there. Of course. So, I also tried the best I can, and God help. And I asked even um, mostly I asked for God's help to help me because I was at the end of life. You know, I couldn't. Uh, I was trying anything. I could. I was trying to try to look for a better job. I asked. I couldn't go anywhere. I asked for a job, but they couldn't give me a job because of the situation that I am passing. They could look at me. I say, this guy, oh, he looks crazy. So there's no need for giving him a job. So I decided to stay like that and ask God, oh God, help me now. So, and God truly fulfilled his players, my players, and he blessed me with this house. And I thank God for that. And I'm happy every day of my life, staying in this house, living here, I'm happy. And I'm praying God that He can, He may, can He may, when He help these guys, my my friends, from sleeping outside there, and try, you know, they can, make, they can, they can, they can afford to get a house, you know, and leave. I will stay in that house instead of sleeping outside there. I will know that it's very cold. Yeah, so. Um, I'm always pray. I always pray for them because I need. I know God will change. If He changes my life, He can change also with their life. Sotetuko <laughs> Raha ya upendo yesu, arikuwa nae. Dugu ya kudada ya kukuwa kama yesu. Kuwa kama yesu. 
Kuwa kama Yesu kama wao mpenda basi rukaruka juu kama wao mpenda basi kama mikono juu kama wao mpenda basi sifarie juu kama wao mpenda basi sauti za bro ni wabie kwa basi da si mchezo sikusamehewa viboko nilipewa hii ni sasa hapa ukovu nimepewa bai nimepewa na roho nimepewa kwa sababu ninasema mikono juu ya hewa mikono juu ya hewa mikono juu ya hewa